name's Sue Peachy and my ceramics business is River's Edge Ceramics and I've been, well I started ceramics here at Canberra Potters about six years ago so I started off with a beginner's class, um, Rick Beavis was my first teacher and then I sort of went through, I advanced through all the different classes and I think I've been with every teacher here, Chris Hartford and Kathy Franzi and Suzanne Fox, they've all taught me a lot and are all really experienced and established potters in their own right. So I colour white porcelain clay and then join it together with the black slip between and um, create blocks which I then slice and construct into forms. So I use moulds to, um, to create the forms. Yeah, so a lot of nature inspired work. I mean, when I was, we did, you know, during COVID, we did have some access to the studios, um, but it was all very quiet and usually it's so dynamic here. And, you know, I could just hear the ducks in the pond over the fence. And so I found that ducks were coming into my work. <laughs> yeah, so the studio is in the, uh, within the Canberra Potters Society, um, which is a really great place. Um, I have access to the kilns and access to um, other potters and exhibition space and the shop, I can sell my work in the shop. Um, and there's also, you know, there's other studios here, so we get to exchange information with each other. And um, there's also an artist in residence. So although that's been a bit limited over COVID, there has been some Australian artists who have come. And that's always really good to sort of just invigorate and there's always a lot of knowledge sharing when they're here. I'd have a daily practice um, and I do work to, towards getting stock for uh, markets and also something I've learnt this year because I haven't actually been doing this for that long, about a year and a half since I've had the studio. Um, the, a good thing is to save your best pieces for possible exhibitions. <laughs> Because, you know, often the, the notice is short and so you just can't make something. You know, this, this process I do is incredibly slow. It takes after the making, which, you know, happens over, you know, days and weeks. Um, it needs four weeks to dry. And then there's a whole other process of sanding it back to reveal the pattern and get really sharp lines. Um, before it's even bisque fired. So then it gets bisque fired and then there's another sanding process and before the final, and glazing before the final firing. <laughs> what I love about being an artist is getting into the flow state. So that space where you lose track of time and you're just really absorbed in the work that for me is a very sort of happy and peaceful place to be in. So um, that's one of the reasons I like being an artist. I like the challenge of sort of all the technical aspects of getting the piece from a lump of clay through to you know, the finished vessel. And yeah, also, you know, the response from people that other people can enjoy it, that's really nice too. And the connection with other artists, I really enjoy that. 